to create star ball you need to add icosphere and subdivision should be 3 then go to the edit mode select all faces then go to the face and poke faces and one more time go to the face and tries to cards in this way you will get this pattern here you need to notice one point maximum ship angle should be 50 and then you need to select the star ship here you can see here we have the star ship then press shift plus G and select with the parameter in this way you can select all these star ships then delete the star ships after that you need to select the words like this then press shift G and then amount of adjacent faces it will select similar words then press ctrl B and then press V to add the bevel on the word in this way add a bevel add two segment bevel and shape factor should be 1 give the bevel width 0 0.02 now you need to use your knife tool and you need to create a loop structure like this. So create this kind of cuts. It's very simple. To hold that corner we need to create these cuts. Then select these words and merge at the center. Then use the knife tool and create cuts like this. Create supportive structure. Then dissolve these edges. We are getting some engons here and because of that we will get little pinching. To get this design on the spear form it's very difficult. So we will keep that end gone at there. Even we try to add some edges and create chord topology then it's not going to work because it's a spherical form. So that's why we are going to keep this end gone as it is. Because for us design is important and even we are getting the little pinching at here. That pinching is not going to be visible with the texture. If you find any way to avoid the pinching then let me know in the comment box. After creating this kind of loop structure, go to the object mode and hit the control 2 to add the sub modifier. Here you can see, we are able to maintain that sharp star shape. Now we want to repeat this topology for all other stars. For that, you need to select these face loops in this way, then increase the selection with the control plus, then select these faces and then shift D to duplicate it and press P for selection to make a different object, then isolate that selection and then shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into the 72 degree angle yeah you need to give the 72 degree angle like this just rotate it and duplicate it and complete that whole spherical form then one more time you need to shift D to duplicate it and rotate it so we can fill this top gap then here you need to rotate it into 36 degree angle then create one more viewport and then you need to adjust the rotation a little bit. It's a little tricky so you need to adjust it a little bit. After getting right position select everything and shift it to duplicate it and rotate it and create that bottom part in this way. Then you need to select everything and press M and merge by distance. Increase the merging distance a little bit so we can merge the words properly. And now you can see we are getting the proper form at there. Now we need to fill these circular holes. For that, you can select this edge loop and then press F to fill the gap. Then select the words and connect them. With the right click connect to vertex pair. In this way. Then you need to dissolve some edges at there. Like this. And you will get this kind of shape. Now you need to duplicate that shape and rotate it. Same thing, rotate it into 72 degree angle. And we are going to fill these gaps by just duplicating and rotating. Just duplicate it and rotate it. In this way you can fill these gaps. Then just select everything and then press M and merge by distance. And now you can see we are getting this smooth form at there. We are getting little pinching at the corner of stars. But that's okay. And in this way we can get this kind of form. Now select everything and extrude along the normal. In this way you can add little thickness at there. Then you can select these edges and then press shift G and select with the face angle. In this way you can select the similar edges and then same thing to the bottom edges also. Select with the face angle. Then go to the object mode apply the scale. And then ctrl B add a bevel. Add two segment bevel shape factor should be one. Here you can see little pinching we are getting at here. But that's fine we are getting our design. That is very important. So in this way we can create this kind of star ball or Christmas ball. That's it for today thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye see you next video take care.